Okay. Uh, you generally answered correctly about uh, hematopoiesis. So what is... but I will get it one more time. So what is hematopoiesis? Hematopoiesis is a process to get all of the blood cells, generally speaking. Uh, and the platelets also. So uh, we get uh, all of them by the highly complicated uh, process. But, uh, first of all, what we have at the beginning? At the beginning we have something like the stem cells. I suppose you have heard uh, a word stem cell in your life. Yes, stem cell is generally undifferentiated cell. So what is the differentiated cell? Differentiated cell is a cell that is specialized. So, for example, um, it all started from a common, let's say, stem cell. It's not maybe be very precise, but let's say that it's, the, it's a stem cell dot. Okay. And then from it, as you can see, we have the lymphocytes T, lymphocytes B, biosophil, eosinophil, platelets, red blood cells, neutrophils, and so and so. What is different? Here we have some stem cell, some stem cell that a stem cell is not able to do anything useful on itself apart of dividing, yes? So it can be beginning to any other cell, but it cannot do anything useful on its own. Generally, not much at least. But neutrophils, basophils, platelets can do a lot of useful things, yes? Red blood cells, macrophages, plasma cells, all of them has their functions, are very useful. They are differentiated, they are specialized. But when they are differentiated, they are not good in creating new cells. Yes, or maybe B cells are a bit different, but never mind. Uh, so generally differentiated cells usually are not very good in dividing. They are not very good to create some new cells. Undifferentiated cells are very fast in creating new cells, are very fast in dividing. Uh, so... Generally, most of the stem cells are in the bone marrow. Uh, so in the bone marrow, there are some of those cells that will decide in which direction to go, in which, which types of cell to create, what would control them. As you can see, all of these GMCSF, GCSF, EL3, in e generally IL is interleukin. So interleukin-5, interleukin-3, things like that. So, all of these substances are produced somewhere. Some are produced just in the, um, in the bone marrow, some like the EPO, uh, T TPO, inter some of the interleukins at least, some of the growth factors are produced uh, outside. So, for example, you will uh, the next uh, the next question will be about uh, red blood cells but i will just point one more one thing so for example epo epo is a substance um, that is produced for example by the kidneys when we do not have enough of the red blood cells so let's get, we have a kidney it gets the signal that we do not have enough of the red blood cells it will produce the epo epo would get to the uh, to the bone marrow and it would lead to higher production of red blood cells yes so this is just the example but general idea is that all of these substances yes gm csf el5 el3 and so on and so on there are of course hundreds more than we see this on in the graph are a way to regulate the process of the hematopoiesis so this enables us regulation of the process of hematopoiesis so the organism can tell the uh, bone marrow what it needs what needs to be created what to do at the moment yes add some epo yes we need more red blood cells add some tipo we need more platelets uh, we are sending information about el5 okay el5 so we we know that we need to create as office it's like a factory it gets some order and the information about this order is those substances um, okay, 